Today I have three pages. Uh, I'm going to Frankenstein these pages together, but they all pertain to the same exact storyline. Uh, the storyline is essentially the origin of Mr. Sinister. It was first done in the Further Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix. So there's this page and this one uh, from that series. They are drawn by John Paul Leon and inked by Klaus Janssen. And then there is this one, which is drawn by Sean Chen and inked by Sean Chen for X-Men The End, which was written by Chris Claremont. Uh, these three pages are from different comics, different years, different storylines, but they go over the same lore that was coined in this Further Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix. So in order to demonstrate that, I'm going to do a dramatic reading of these three pages. Thank you. This is but a crude prototype I've assembled to illustrate some possible biological extrapolations. I have worked on human parts and fused these with anatomical regions of animals and other inorganic materials. Imagine the improvements on our present human form that are possible. I began with the lungs. Outrageous! I'm an abomination! Throw the madman out! But surely, science must be above such petty, conventional modes of decency! This is the future! Bong! Cowards! If our forefathers had been as timid as you, we'd still be sitting in trees, eating berries, and scratching each other's buttocks! Darwin, surely you must see the significance of my work! In 1859, a Victorian geneticist named Nathaniel Essex, who considered himself a peer of Charles Darwin, encountered a mutant who'd been born a slave in the glory days of ancient Egypt and who'd risen to become its conqueror. He called himself en sabah -Nur but he was better known by a name that fitted him far better, usually spoken by his maimed and dying victims as a curse. Apocalypse! Awakening after a hibernation of millennium, he determined to lay his claim to the world of that era in Nathaniel Essex. He sought an ally who would help him achieve that goal. This is where it happens. This is where evil is born. The crux point upon which humanity's future turns. For the ancient conqueror known as Apocalypse has risen to stake his bloody claim to the modern world. And he has claimed an ally whose scientific genius will, in the fullness of time, prove to be the deciding factor in shaping the world. They are perhaps the worst villains mankind has ever known. Now, in a weird chamber dripping with alien technology, beneath the streets of mid-Victorian London, the man whom Apocalypse has tempted with dark promises cries out as his last dregs of his humanity are scorched from his soul, turning him into... Sinister! Ah. <sighs>